I guess it'd help if I actually hit the record button. <laughs> hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm always excited to bring you guys a new vlog. However, this is one of my favorite vlogs because we are outside of Barnes & Noble. I'm here early, so I'm waiting in the parking lot for them to open. They don't open up for about another few minutes. So yeah, so I'm super excited. I brought my personal laptop because I have schoolwork that I really, really need to get done. So I'm going to do that. And then of course we're going to do some book shopping because there is a book, I think I just recently mentioned it. I want to say, I think it was in my last vlog. I mentioned the Rebel Blue Ranch series by Lila Sage. I had read Done and Dusted and absolutely fell in love with it. And this Tuesday she released Swift and Saddled. So I'm really hoping that I can get my hands on a hard copy. And there's also a few other releases that came out here recently. So I kind of want to just browse Take a look around and like I mentioned we're going to get some schoolwork done so as soon as they open we'll go ahead and run on in.
So we made it back home. I went ahead and stopped at the grocery store. We got the groceries put up, um, but really quickly, I need to scan some documents. So I'm going to do that really quickly and then we can sit down and do a little book haul. Also, I think I'm going to change out of this sweater because again, I get hot so, so easily. Like I don't do good in the Texas heat. And I think you guys know this because I've said it like a hundred times, but I thrive in the fall. I love like 60, 70 degree weather. It's been a little warm, but I think we have a small cold front coming in tonight. So I think next week it'll be a little chillier, a little cooler. But anyways, let's go ahead and get out of this sweatshirt. Okay, so now it is time, of course, for one of my favorite parts. I honestly love bookstore vlogs. I wish we had like more bookstores in my area. So we have a total of five books. It was actually six books, but one of them I grabbed for my daughter. And I'm going to start off with two books that I've already read and I've mentioned a thousand times. So you guys probably already know I've mentioned that I read all of the books on my Kindle and I've mentioned that I've wanted the physical copies. So I went ahead and grabbed Powerless and Reckless. Reckless is like my all time favorite book in this series. I absolutely love this one. This is book three in the Chestnut Spring series. And then this one is book four in the series. If you're wondering why I got them out of order. So I was looking at the spicy table and they had this one. However, it has the buy one, get one 50% off. So I went ahead and asked, is it only for this book or can I get a buy one, get one 50% off on the whole series? And it in fact was only on this book. But on my way to put this one back, I noticed that this one was right behind it. So I figured it was a really good deal to buy one and get the other one half off. I actually love the first covers that came out on my Kindle. It's a cover of like people and I've mentioned a lot of times that I don't know what it is, but I don't like to see real people on the covers of books but i absolutely love these covers they are so so pretty and i've noticed i like all of the covers by bloom and then the main book that we went in for which was swift and saddled this is book two in the rebel blue ranch series i mentioned last time that i read done and dusted i didn't think i was going to like it nearly as much as i did of course i had to go in and grab this one however when i first walked in <laughs> i needed to run to the restroom initially my plan was to go in get some studying done and, and of course spend the last hour or so just browsing and of course looking for this book However, when I walked in, I went straight to where I thought this one would be. And it was in fact the last one. I asked one of the employees, I was like, I'm going to be over in the little cafe section studying. Um, however, this is the last copy. And this is the book that I in fact came in for. Is there any way that you can hold it for me until I'm done? And she was like, absolutely, just give me your name. And so I greatly appreciated that. And like I mentioned, it was the last one. So yeah, I absolutely cannot wait for this one. Again, if you like a lot of like country romance, small town romance, I highly recommend, of course, the Chestnut Spring series and the Rebel Blue Ranch series. And then also, I have really been wanting to get into the fantasy genre. So I have the Akatar series. Then I have the Once Upon a Broken Heart and the Ballad of Never After. Those are the only fantasy books that I have. And I've really been wanting to get into the fantasy genre. However, whenever I was little, my mom had gotten me a couple of fantasy books. And of course, you know, I was little. It actually just revolved around like unicorns. But... I understand that there's actually a whole world building whenever it comes to fantasy books and I've really been wanting to wrap up my last couple of classes because I have to complete them by the end of this month. So that being said, I'm waiting until I don't have like a busy month and I actually want to go ahead and jump into the fantasy genre. So one of the books that I kept seeing really good reviews about is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. And, and I believe this series is going to be a trilogy and book two is getting released, I believe in July. So I kind of wanted to read this one before that one got released. And what I also loved is that this one is a Barnes and Noble exclusive edition. I believe the original cover has purple flowers and this one has pink ones. So I thought, of course, the cover was stunning. So I cannot wait to hop into this one. Then the last book that I picked up is The Ones Who Got Away. And at first, of course, it was the cover that caught my attention. Then on the back, it says, 12 years ago, tragedy struck a sleepy Texas town. Only a small number of those impacted survived. A group the media dubbed The Ones Who Got Away. This is their story. So I kind of wanted to get a little bit more information on what it was about. And then the author left a note for the reader. 
and I started reading that and it really, really caught my attention just because this is something that actually revolves around real life situations. I'm going to read it to you guys because I think once I read it to you guys, you kind of will understand a little bit more. Dear reader, thank you for picking up this copy of The Ones Who Got Away. Inside these pages, I hope you find yourself swept away by a story of friendship, healing, optimism, and love. Those things are what this book and series are ultimately about. This has a happy ending, I promise. However, these characters have also been through a traumatic event that tragically is even more common today than when I originally wrote this book. School shootings are now a recurring event in our news cycle, and it breaks my heart anew each time I see another story. And of course, as a mom to a high schooler, it terrifies me as well. I grew up as one of the last generations that didn't go to school worrying about this possibility. I graduated high school in 1997. That was the year school shootings entered my awareness with incidents in Pearl, Mississippi and Paducah, Kentucky. The next year brought us the tragedies in Oregon and Arkansas. Then in 1999, the Columbine massacre happened and the media coverage exploded. After that, there was no one left in the country who didn't worry about this happening at their school or to their children. I was in college when Columbine occurred and to say it impacted me deeply is putting it mildly. Those images have stuck with me ever since. I didn't just think about those who were lost, but I thought of all of the survivors, the students who escaped, the teachers, and the family members of the victims. I couldn't help but wonder, how do you move forward after that? How do you find happiness? Can you? Authors write stories for all kinds of different reasons. I wrote this series because I wanted to answer those questions with hope. Yes, there can be healing after tragedy. No, those shooters did not win. Yes, there can be love. I hope you enjoy Liv's and Finn's journeys to their happy ending. Thank you for reading. With love and gratitude, Ronnie Lauren. So once I read that, of course, it captured my attention because that is something that unfortunately I feel every parent worries about now and, and back when I was in school which of course was a while back it wasn't necessarily like that I do have a sixth grader in school as well as a freshman in school so anytime that they're at school even though you feel like school is the safest place for them to be at you do have that little worry in the back of your mind and then unfortunately you know my little one has even worried about that when she goes to school and that is something I don't ever want my kids to worry about. But yeah, this one just really caught my attention so I cannot wait to jump into this one as well. And the note that I just read, it says that it's part of a series. So again, I kind of just went into this one, not necessarily blind. I haven't heard or seen any reviews about this one. So yeah, this will definitely be one of my next few reads. But that is all for the books in my book haul. Again, I was really happy with the books I picked up today. So it's currently 4.30 and it is Friday and normally on Friday evenings I for the most part just clean the house. Sometimes my Fridays are my filming days for my cleaning channel. Whenever I film four cleaning videos I actually combine those four and upload a cleaning marathon. I just combine them all together. So that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. And then I'm still currently reading Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score. And I have been loving it. This one revolves around Lucian's and Sloane's story. I think some people mentioned that they didn't really like it or it wasn't their favorite. But so far, I've been enjoying everything. So I'm currently on page 212. But I really, really like it so far. I know for some people it gets kind of like slow sometimes. But... I think I find this series very comforting, kind of like when you watch Gilmore Girls. So I have been enjoying every single chapter. One of my subscribers was asking, how do I find the time to read so much? And honestly, there's times where I feel like I don't get to read enough, but I try to read any chance that I get. I even wake up early during the week so I can fit in at least half an hour to an hour of reading before the kiddos wake up and it's time to get them to school and I need to punch in for work and all of that. So I do wake up early sometimes. Whenever I tag along with my husband somewhere and if I'm not getting off or I just like to wait in the car, um, I actually, I take my book and I read. Whenever I'm in the pickup line waiting for the kids to come out, I will again just sit in the car and read the entire time. So I'm going to heat up a little lunch. I made some chicken last night and there was some leftover chicken so I went ahead and cooked that. Um, I'm just going to eat some leftover chicken and rice and then I got an Olipop at Walmart today and it's the strawberry vanilla flavor. You guys know that I love strawberry and banana or anything strawberry, but I really wanted to try the strawberry vanilla Olipop. So I'm going to go ahead and probably have myself like a late lunch, early dinner. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go heat up some food.
guys so i'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog like i mentioned i do technically have like two videos to upload tomorrow morning i wanted to thank you all so so much for being here today for watching my videos i really truly feel and believe I think I've mentioned this on my cleaning channel, but I really feel like on both of my channels, I have the best community. You guys are always so sweet. You always leave me the sweetest comments and I cannot thank you guys enough. So huge, huge thank you. I hope you all have a wonderful, relaxing weekend and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.